What's going on everybody? Patriot Stacker here. Today I went to my local coin shop and I got some really cool stuff, so stay tuned. All right, so everything here on the table is what I picked up today, as well as $10 face value in constitutional silver coins. So that we'll talk about in just a moment. There's some really, really cool stuff in there. But as for the rest of the silver, I got a lot of 40% silver coins today, just because spot price is down, I'm buying the dip. As my uh, LCS owner says, silver is on sale. So I always think that's funny. I ended up picking up three 40% silver proof Ike dollars. I mean, they're not in the best shape. You know, they're kind of a little bit uh, milky or a little bit toned up. I mean, this one actually has some pretty cool looking toning going on on the left side of the coin there. And this was just like a loose one. It's a proof, but you could hardly even see the proof finish. Still, 40% silver for just a few bucks. I'm not going to complain. So I picked up three of the Ike dollars. I also got two 40% silver Kennedy half dollars, and these are bicentennial proofs. So as you see, they are proof coins, 1976 bicentennials. And a lot of these came in capsules, which was kind of cool. I think uh, somebody recently just brought a bunch of stuff to my LCS. I think this was part of the collection as well as this constitutional. We'll talk about that in just a second. But we have uh, some pretty cool stuff. Looks like it's part of a collection that somebody might have just dropped off recently. We had a couple of these 40% silver uh, bicentennial quarters as well. So for two bucks, you can't. I can't pass up on these. They came in capsules as well. Two of these are proofs. These two here, and we got three just in uncirculated condition. This one, I'm actually, I'm glad to have this one out of a capsule because that's going to go in my typeset folder. I have a clad one in there now, but it'll be nice to put a silver coin in the in its place for bicentennial quarters. I also picked up two one ounce silver bullion uh, rounds here. I thought this was a cool design with the Indian head. Kind of a vintage round here. One ounce, three nines fine. It's got some cool toning and it's a really pretty design. They also had one of these, so I had to pick it up. A 1986 Engelhard Prospector. And these are the Engelhards with the eagle design on this side. Some of them in uh, different years had a big E, the big Engelhard E on the back. But I like these ones a lot with the eagle. Definitely an awesome design. It's in great condition. I mean, look at that, that luster going on. So I can't pass on some cool rounds, you know, while spot price is down. I also got, they had some half ounce rounds, but I picked up this one because it is really cool. It's a proof design. It's kind of hard to see in the capsule with this lighting, but it is a copy of an 1861 Confederate half dollar. So I thought that was really cool. Confederate States of America. It's got the shield with the Liberty cap. It says half dollar. And of course it does say copy because it is, you know, a copy or a commemorative, whatever you want to call it. And just really cool. And it came with a certificate of authenticity, which was pretty cool. So just to show that it is legit and not like a counterfeit type of coin. So very, very cool. Little half ounce uh, seated Liberty type round. I also got three silver Mexican coins and I got an awesome deal on these. So this one, as well as the other one right here, are the Cinco Pesos. These are 90% silver, 30 grams. So it's a big coin, 40 millimeters, you know, about the size of a American Silver Eagle. I ended up putting them in these capsules, but she gave me such a good deal because they were covered in PVC damage. And I didn't record me cleaning them, but I did restore the coin to its original beautiful state with a little bit of cleaning and I got all that PVC off of there. And honestly, if I didn't tell you I cleaned it, you probably would have never known. Still has plenty of mint luster. I mean, these are uncirculated coins. And just an awesome Mexican silver coin. This is probably one of my favorites besides the Libertad bullion. But out of, out of circulated Mexican coins, 
definitely one of my favorites. This is from 1948. And the other one here, same coin, Cinco Pesos, and we got a 1947. So I was really excited to get the 47 because I do not have any of those. All of mine are 1948s. And this is a little bit harder of a year to find. So just a gorgeous coin. I mean, it still has plenty of mint luster. And these were actually had a lot of PVC on them. They were gross. They were bad. Uh, you know, the my LCS was even saying, you know, I'm not sure if you want to buy these or not. They have so much PVC. I said, no, nope, I will take them, especially for the deal they gave me. And lastly, we have one of my favorites, the old 10% silver Mexican Un Peso. Uncirculated. It's got some cool toning. There's a little bit of green on there. I'm not sure if that's PVC or toning, but it wasn't too bad. And I didn't clean this one because I like the other toning it has. But like I said, these are only 10% silver. This is from 1961. An Un Peso, 10% silver. Just a cool coin, especially for only, you know, two bucks a piece or whatever you can get those for. I get them fairly cheap. So I have a whole bunch of those. And these are really beautiful too. I love Mexican silver, as you probably know if you watch any of my videos. But we got some really cool silver coins here today. I'm excited about all the 40%. I just think it's cool. I'm going to use some of these in my typeset to replace clad coins. We got some bullion, some angle hard, some Indian head, and we got some cool Mexican silver. But we also got $10 face value. And she said that it just recently came in and there's a lot of old stuff in here. So there might be standing liberties, there might be barbers. She mentioned there is a seated liberty coin and this was just sold to me as regular junk silver, constitutional silver, 90% regular price. Uh, today I paid $21 times face. So that's not too bad considering uh, what we're paying or what we have been paying with premiums up and uh, I'm excited to dive in. So let's clean this all up and see what we got for Constitutional Silver. All right, so we got $10 face value of Constitutional Silver. Let's take a look. All right, so we got half dollars, quarters, and dimes. I'm gonna go ahead and sort these all up and we'll be back and see exactly what we got. All right, so we got some really cool stuff in this constitutional silver lot. We got three Walking Liberty half dollars from 1917, two of them with San Francisco mint marks. So that was a really cool pickup, some early date walkers. We also got a 1920 San Francisco. So really awesome. We got some S mint marks and some early walkers. We also have this 1942. It's in pretty good condition though. A lot of detail. Not a bad looking coin there. We also got three Benjis, a 1953, or I'm sorry, 1958, and a 1960, and a 1962. So pretty cool. Looks like this one's out of Denver. Pretty circulated, but still not a bad deal. We also got a bunch of quarters. So we got some early Washington quarters, a 1936, 1940, two from 1941, two from 1942, two from 1944, a 47, a 52, and a 64. So some pretty uh, older Washington quarters, which is always fun. We got this really cool looking Standing Liberty, and this is a 1917, but it is a Type 2. I was hoping to see uh, no stars underneath that eagle, making this a, making that a Type 1 Standing Liberty, but this is a Type 2. It has damage, it has corrosion, 
but still a 1917 standing Liberty quarter and you can read the date and it's got a little bit of detail left not a bad pickup at all we also got four barber quarters so this was an older one in 1898 you know I mean these aren't in the best shape at all but it is awesome to get these kind of coins in just a regular junk silver lot we also have a 1906 not too bad of this uh, on this coin here with a Denver mint mark some pretty cool looking toning we also got two from 1908 this one's got some really cool color to it it's like a golden brown this one is also out of Denver I believe sometimes the D's and the O's look similar but that was a Denver and this is a 1908 that's an O for New Orleans. This one's got still still has quite a bit of detail. Not too bad. So some really nice, uh, some pretty cool barber quarters. We also got a bunch of dimes. So starting with the oldest dime, this was a cool find here. An 1853 with arrows. So the 1853 without arrows is definitely a better coin. But this 1853 with arrows first year they had the arrows by the date um, but as you see I mean this coin is damaged it's in really rough shape it's got a little hole up by Lady Liberty's head also coming through on this side here but to find a seated Liberty dime in the junk silver lot pretty awesome we also got a barber dime a 1914 still has quite a bit of detail not a bad looking coin here very cool love the barber dimes then we also got a bunch of mercury dimes we got four from the 1940s one from the 30s a handful from the 20s but we also got five from the teens and we have a 1916 here not horrible shape you could still see quite a bit of the detail and read the date i flipped it over and i saw a mint mark but that is a S mint mark. I was hoping this was a 1960D. I'm sure they would have cherry picked that, but still a 1916 San Francisco. Not a bad find. It's always fun to get a first year Mercury dime. Pretty awesome. So we got a 16. We also got a 1917, 18, and 1919. So we got a couple from the teens there really awesome constitutional lot especially at only 21 dollars times face we got all this old early date coinage as well as you know some benjis and some more newer pieces but still an awesome lot for just a regular old constitutional junk silver lot my lcs is awesome they take such good care of me and they always give me cool stuff when they can all right, everybody. Well, that is my purchase from my local coin shop today. I hope you enjoyed checking out all the cool stuff that I was able to get today. We got some older constitutional silver. We got 40%. We got 90% Mexican silver. We got all different cool stuff. We got angle hards and some bullion pieces and some 40% silver uh, Kennedys and Ikes and quarters. We just got a whole different you know, variety of stuff today. Silver was on sale, as my LCS likes to say. Spot price is down, so we're buying the dip. You know, I'm not a one to hype, you know, buying and backing up the truck when, uh, when silver drops in price. But, you know, if you can and you are looking to get stuff, it's always a nice little uh, deal when you can pick up at a lower price. So I was able to pick up $10 face value and constitutional and a whole bunch of other bullion and 40% silver and foreign silver coins. So I was really excited about that. So please smash that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy videos all about silver stacking, coin collecting, precious metals, all that fun stuff, ring that notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, have a great day.